automatically, I'll convert the term life for you. Well, I'll be one comfort in it at least. The satisfaction of knowing I'm worth something, even if it's dead instead of alive. Oh, well, uh, Mr. Swanson, if uh, you should call me or get in touch with me at home, I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention to anyone that, well, uh, my wife doesn't know about me yet. Mr. Hayes, that's your business, not mine. <laughs> Swanson's office, I could have gotten a 3.30 home, but I didn't. My regular train was a 6.02. I waited for that. Because I had a large decision to make. Would I tell my wife the truth, or shouldn't I? How could she help me? And why should I add to her worries? Oh, you sound as though it's been a bad day. Oh, Linda. You drive the old place. Okay. Just all right? Hmm, mm, past the foot. But the washing machine is making strange noises again. And the septic tank man says he needs new fuel. Uh, what's that going to cost? Hundreds. Linda couldn't cut the grass because he's going to get the mirror splattered. Sure, up. It's only money. Which we never have enough of. Oh, never mind. How was your day? And if anything went wrong, don't tell me or I'll dissolve in helpless tears. Well, it was just a run of the mill day. Nothing special at all. Not so that settled that. I wasn't going to tell Louise. I wasn't going to tell anyone I'd lost my job. Not till I found a new one. And then suddenly that cold, wrenching knock was back in my stomach. Closing, I didn't. I shut my eyes against the mouse. Oh, look at that! Please don't do it with me in the car. I'm sorry, Walt. I couldn't mean that. The nerves are just shot. Well, let's get home. I need a drink. So do I. How much I needed that drink, Louise would never know. Because now, I had a sudden premonition of what I might have to do if things didn't pan out. I'd said it to the insurance man. Without a job, I was worth more dead than alive. up the miserable masquerade, leaving every morning on my regular train as if going to work, returning on the 602 every night. At first, the deception wasn't too difficult, because Sandra Thompson, my former secretary, was there to take messages for me. But four weeks after I was fired... Well, any messages for me? I'm sorry. Well, well I figured. You uh, haven't found anything yet. Nope. Well, the uh, bright spot is that I have you to cover for me in case something does turn up. successful men? I don't know. 
Most of them are still our friends. I couldn't have to her or to them that I was a failure. So now I was no longer just afraid, I was desperate. Well, there was one last straw to cut you. Ed Portman. I've been trying to reach him at his office. He was never in. I knew he was avoiding me. I also knew that sooner or later I'd find him at Mario's. Thank you. 
I know that, dear. I placed a lot together in the front of the angel. They were operating on them, putting them back together. All right. Back together? It'll take time, but you'll be just as good as new. <sighs> Mom, what did you mean? Why? Why did you keep it to yourself? Just because you let go, maybe I or, or the children or your friends would ever let you. I'm not used to. You can't find a job. It's a machine age. No room for people anymore. Don't say that, dear. The only thing that counts is people. If you trust them. I bet Jack Snow and Hank Jessica jobs waiting for you. Right now. Jobs aren't that easy. Today you got a fit the machine. Or be one. Now you're listening to me, Walt Hayes. Don't you sell machine show either. What do you mean? The machine is paying the hospital bills. But our expenses till we're ready to go to work. But the man who drove you off the road didn't stop. But they found him. And he's fully insured. They found him. But how? Well, there were tire marks. Smuggles of pound on our car. Some crime ripped off his and part of the license plate. A very modern police sergeant fed the clue into the computer. And they caught the driver in no time at all. But no matter how complicated they are or how efficient, machines have to be run by people. And people are the only thing that count. Oh, please, darling, please. You've got to understand that. <laughs> Chicago 60601. 